Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Hello Good night mom uh, In this occasion I would like to explain about our material Under the title Insomnia And now We embark to on a journey Into the world of insomnia What is insomnia? According to Wikipedia Wikipedia website Insomnia is a condition that goes beyond mere restlessness in the night. It's a topic that touches the lives of millions. Impacting not just impacting not just our necks, but our entire well-being. So let's dive into the realm of insomnia and revealing its mysteries. Is understanding its effect and discovering ways to navigate through the silence of night tours okay according to the good lens for classification and diagnosis of mental disorders insomnia is a condition unsatisfactory slips in terms of both quantity and quality uh, so let me let me explain one by one. Insomnia is pre is pre is prevalent is a prevalent sleep disorders affecting about ten until ten until thirty percent of adults. It's characterized by it's characterized by persistent persistent difficulty falling falling or staying by staying staying asleep. Tonight tonight. Tonight, we will delve into the its symptoms, causes, and effective management strategies. Okay, number one, symptoms. Okay, let's talk about symptoms and complications. Individual with insomnia experience a range of symptoms, including difficulty falling asleep, difficulty falling asleep, waking during the night, day. The time sleep, sleepness and irritability. Uh, beyond affecting night rest, insomnia can disrupt daily tasks, impair focus, and contribute to mental health challenges. Uh, next, about causes and risk factor. Causes and risk factor. Various factors contribute to insomnia and from psychological stress and chronic pain to lifestyle choices, rich structures such as working night shift and sleep apnea, hygiene its prevalence particular among women and older adults. Diagnosis and screening. Diagnosis insomnia involves a trough assessment of 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 sleep habits screening is simpli simplified with two key questions. Uh, the two key question: Do you experience difficulty sleeping, and do you have difficulty falling or staying asleep? Uh, okay, let's talk about treatment option. In detection with sleep, with sleep hygiene. With sleep hygiene, hygiene practices, cons practices consist consistent bedtime, conducive sleep environment, silent exposure, and regular exercise. Pro pro effective. Cognitive behavioral therapy complement does restore ch change. However, caution caution around the use of sleeping pills to associate risk. Okay. To and for the conclusion, to conclude this, understanding insomnia empowers us to address its challenges effectively, seek professional guidance for persons with insomnia, and remember, there's a hope for better sleep through informed choices and proactive management. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for your attention. I hope you can you can know more about information that I that I explain and see you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.